Good morning and welcome to my channel again. Uh, for those of you who are new here, we talk about manifesting here, manifesting your goals, manifesting love, money, your career, anything you're really hoping to achieve in your life. Today's video is inspired by one of you, our lovely subscribers, and I'm very grateful to all of you who subscribe. And I appreciate those comments and questions. So here is the answer to our lovely Queenie. Thank you for the question. The question was whether I ever failed at manifesting and why, and of course, how we can avoid it. So today I wanted to talk about four things that I've done wrong and for you not to do that that way. <laughs> so I was working very hard for many, many years trying to uh, achieve success in my newly founded company and it just wasn't happening despite of my many hours and many years spent at it. And now with hindsight, side, I can look back and name very powerful reasons why that was never going to happen that I wasn't aware of the time at the time. So number one. Uh, the reason why I felt that manifesting was I was holding to some very powerful limiting beliefs and namely I didn't think I was good enough and I know many of you will relate to that because for many 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 reasons we can investigate forever we tend to hold that one quite strongly uh, and I never ever paid attention to it. I was just working my little butt <laughs> off and thinking, well, I'm, if I just work hard, I'm going to get there. And I never questioned the fact that all the time I just felt like, you know, other people make tons of money. That's, that's just not me. And, you know, I'm not a tycoon. My company at the time, they were speculating it was worth millions. I just, that just wasn't at all possible in my mind. But I thought hard work, you know, grinding day and night, I'm going to get there. And this, that was number one. Number two limiting beliefs I was holding at the time was I did not feel believe that making tons of money is in line with me being spiritual. I felt that spiritual people should not aim to make millions. And I was kind of aware of that and I was always trying to align my company with a higher purpose, like women empowerment at the time and things like that. It just, it just wasn't working. And I felt that that, that contradiction in me between trying to make money and feeling that that I shouldn't <laughs> anyway so I think that's enough to give you some uh, good good reasons so I was pushing sorry I was pushing for things on the outside while trying to drive my business as if I was driving a car with a, with a really strong handbrake on and it's just like you just keep pushing and it's just not moving <laughs> so so when we hold to these negative feelings, they're out of sync with our intentions. It's really, it's really nowhere to go. It's like, it literally like driving a car with the handbrake on. So, uh, don't do that. Number one thing to do is question whether you have a limiting belief. This is direct contradiction with what you're trying to achieve. Like trying to make money by really believing that money is the root of all evil. Second thing that I did um, when I failed manifestation was I concentrated too much on the how. I spent time and time again working on the most likely scenario how my, my manifestations are going to come about. I would even tell my husband, oh, I think it's going to happen like this, like this, like this. And I can imagine that, you know, investors is going to come and buy our company. And I can, I my mind was needing to work out how and 
every time the 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 the, the reality <laughs> smack me backwards i would have to start the process again oh that didn't work out but let me try this way this way it's it's yeah it can work out so one of the biggest things to remember when it comes to manifestation is that the how is none of our business the visual is manifestation already happening but never ever ever question how it's going to come about it's it's really asking how is how you know you're working it out on a like a most likely scenario based on your experience don't forget you can only act based on your experience that you had so far so you don't know what's what's possible because you can only tell what's possible based on what you showed yourself that it's possible you can't see what's what you don't know so don't do it because since then since I learned how not to do it, magical things happen. Magical. Like, I would not even imagine that it was possible, and suddenly it happened. And I think that's the magic of not playing with the how. Just don't. Take inspire action. Look for clues and paths of no, least resistance, but do not push on the how you think your manifestation is going to come about. If you're trying to manifest money or you're trying to manifest love or trying to manifest any kind of miracles, don't spend one minute trying to work out how it might happen. Just don't. Don't. The third re reason why I failed at manifesting is I did not really visualize. I thought just thinking about my desire is enough. Thinking I'm, you know. But of course, thought as big at the time, I you know it was enough for me. Like thoughts create reality. I'm thinking, therefore I create. Here's a shocker: thoughts do not create reality. They don't. Ha! <laughs> you didn't think that, because they, thoughts by themselves don't create reality. Behind the behind thoughts, the the, the feelings together with thoughts are uh, very different very different result. So it's the feeling behind the thoughts they create. Vibration actually, but we'll talk about that later. There's a big difference between thinking about something and visualizing something. Visualizing is much more powerful. It comes with you thinking about it and actually feeling it. Really powerful. These days when I do that, I literally get a like bodily sensations of me being there and feeling this thing like and use all of your senses you know see the colors and feel the 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 heat of the sun on your shoulders and smell the air and everything you can think of just add the picture of feeling that warm sea you're swimming in a sea and you feel the water around you and you feel like you're floating and all of these things so use as much of your imagination is possible to evoke feelings in you because the feelings are the ones that create many people use manifestations sorry many people use meditation manifest for manifestation because it sets them into that low frequency mood where they can just open up and visualize much easier whatever works for you if meditation is your thing find a you know, quiet corner, relax and visualize away and get yourself into that place where you already have your manifestation and you will feel the emotions. You will, no doubt about it. Um, I'm just reminding myself where we are, otherwise I'm going to lose track. <laughs> Fourth reason why I didn't, I didn't succeed at my manifestation is I was too attached to the result. When you really, really want something, it's really hard not to, huh? You get so attached to it. It's just you wanted you. It's like, uh, you really want it to happen. So, and then when it's not with you right now, what you do is, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Why is it not happening? Where is it going to come? Where is, you know? And by holding on to this so tight, it's actually counterproductive. It's almost like you're holding on so dearly that it's actually pushing it away. It's it's signaling basically that you're so fearful of whether your manifestation is going to happen that you acting from the fear, you're, you're 
and lack of trust. So you're, you're literally wanting to hold on and say, this is an escape. It's never, never going to leave you. It's never going to leave you. you. You really, it's yours. And do everything you need to do and then let go. Then let go. Manifest, visualize, and then let go. Carry on with your life. You, you act on your, as we said, take inspired action and, you know, make, open the doors for your manifestation to happen, but don't grip to it because that'll actually create the opposite effect. Um, I think that that is pretty much what I wanted to say to you. Today's video is 10 minutes. I know it's a little bit longer. I hope you can cope with it. But I think those four elements is where I felt in manifesting and I think um, they're one well four of many so I will make another video of general reasons why people uh, fail most of the time and they might be different to my personal ones so I'll find um, uh, next next video about that so I hope you enjoyed this one thank you again for um, listening click 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 like subscribe and share i do appreciate it this is very early days for us so anything helps and i thank you for your time sorry about the road this is where we're staying so i can't help it and lots of love have a good day cheers bye